Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode and uh, well as you can see this is a new let's play a new series and this is another personal favorite of mine this is Harvester for the PC of course uh, as you can see it's it's kind of like they have put it in photos or whatever it's uh, like kind of Mortal Kombat-esque in the graphics or perhaps Darkseed is a better way because it's more similar to Darkseed it's a point and click game and all that uh, but it's uh, it's very unique and kind of funny, and I just wanted I just wanted to let you know that you should avoid cliches like the plague. Okay, so let's get going. Okay, it's a twenty-five cent piece. Cool. Yeah, okay, whatever, let's proceed. Yeah, you can punch. Let's not do that. What? It, it fucks up a lot. Okay. Leave me alone, Steve, or I'll tell Mom on you. Mom's in the kitchen, and if you bug me, I'll call her. Look, I just... Do you know me? Wish I didn't, because then you wouldn't be my brother, <laughs> and I'd have your room. And all the presents at Christmas. Though I will soon enough anyway, cause you're a lousy rat. You're my brother? No, duh. Listen, I don't mean to, uh, bug you, but I can't seem to, to remember anything. Will you please just tell me who you are? Mom, Steve is bugging me. Steve, leave Hank alone right now. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. He doesn't have any interest in it. Whoa, 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 what are you doing, sir? What the? Whoa, why did you do that? Okay. Oh, there's a light glow there. <laughs> Sweet. Newborn baby, okay. Isn't that cookies? As well? Yeah, okay, so she just throws all the cookies. Huh? Well, hello there. How about some cookies? There's plenty of rejects in the trash. Oh, sure. Who are you? <laughs> That's a fine way to talk to your mother. You're my mother? That's right. Though sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember you. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks washed. No, you don't uh, understand. I can't remember where I am or even okay. who I am. Land's sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Honestly, Steve, Shit, I thought sorry. you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. So that's my name. Steve. Your name will be M.U.D. Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Listen, this may sound strange. Everybody's really mean But I've to lost you. my memory. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. That's the theme that you'll sure. see. Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember your Hank and your little thing. sister. What sister? Sister? Shh! You'll wake her. I just put her down to sleep. <laughs> if she wakes up, she'll just want to eat again. Oh, wasp spider. Darn it! I'm busy, and if you think I'm going to play along with this nonsense, you're crazier than Sparky down at the firehouse. Fine. Maybe I am mm. crazy. I can't rule that out. Why can't you just help me a little? Is that so too much to play. ask? Now you've done it. Are you happy? Poor baby. There, there. Did your brother scare you? Let me see. <laughs> Darn that wasp woman. She's a monster. That's what she is. Well, that was normal. Okay, so Sparky. Sparky? Who cares about that prancing, fire hydrant squatting sissy boy right now? <laughs> your sister's eating okay. a tarantula and you're still fooling around. If she's my sister. Enough! Go bother Hank or Stephanie, why don't you? I'm trying to bake cookies! And just who Who's is that? Stephanie? Who's Hank? Don't you dare is that my brother? that sweet oh. girl. If you start in on her with all this amnesia poop, she'll think her fiancé is having second thoughts about the wedding. Wedding. Look, all this talk about weddings is nuts. Oh, I'm not marrying anybody. She mentioned it once. What's going on here? That's not First all. First the this heartbreak talk. of psoriasis, and now this. 
two <laughs> weeks before the wedding and you're backing out, whatever will the neighbors think? I can't marry someone I don't even know. Fine, have it your way, but leave me out of it. If you're going to break Stephanie's heart, you march right next door and do it yourself. And don't expect me to write you a note. Okay. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. <laughs> you know how he gets. Okay, Mom. Yeah. So as you probably already know, this is a... This is a special kind of... Atmosphere to this game. I, I didn't know which word to to use. How do you get to your? All right, I forgot. Twenty-five cents. Hey, Steve. I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, I guess not. Hey, Steve. You've been doing a swell job putting the paper out in the morning. You just keep doing that, and we won't have any problems. That's not much to ask, is it? Did a kid just threaten me? To put out the papers. Well, whatever. Um, neighbors, so I guess that's the pots. Dams. <laughs> nice. Man of <laughs> squeezing his meat. Okay. There he is, my future son in law. And how's he doing today? What brings him to the pots dam household? Huh? Huh? Let's not use that, because nobody believes that. Let's just... Oh, you'll have to ask the missus about that. Stephanie's grounded to the wedding. <laughs> Can't have her changing her mind at the last minute. Not with all that meat at stake. Uh, what? <laughs> meat? What about... Meat is the foundation of any decent society. Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. Now that's right. And anyone right. who says otherwise is a commie. And... Once you're wow. married to Stephanie, I'll be part of the family too. And your father will give me all the meat <laughs> I want. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> Kinda makes up for not getting into the lodge. Okay, so lodge. Oh, I want to talk about... I want to talk to Stephanie. Or whatever, the mom. Hello, Steve. Mm, just like my Have mom. you floss today? Yeah, let's just skip all that talk because that's just bullshit. Well, Stephanie is grounded, Steve. Why? I'm sure I don't know. Mr. Poston has sent her to her room, and uh, in her room she'll stay until Mr. Poston well, says that's otherwise. Strange. Probably until the wedding. I'm quite sure I heard the a different story before. Tell me about this wedding. Well, it's set for three weeks. We're holding it over at Shady Oaks, Mr. Moynihan's funeral parlor. Say what? <laughs> now, I know it's not a very romantic place, but there's nowhere else to hold it. Thanks to Mr. Potsdam. What about him? You mustn't be too hard on Mr. Potsdam, Steve. He's a disappointed man. No matter how many lodge admission forms he fills out, they keep turning him down. He has a new application in, though. So keep your fingers crossed. If he joins the lodge, you and Stephanie can have your in wedding the in the Chapel of Love rather than over at Moynihan's place. Okay, so can I just... Hold on. Is that how this built? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Oh, okay. I, I, I suck. <laughs> okay, wedding. Tell wow. Yeah, well, we're going to know everything same. about ne the wedding. Sorry, I didn't catch. Okay. Give my regards to. So what? Can can I just enter now? Sorry, you'll have to ask Mrs. Potsdam for permission to see Stephanie. She's in the kitchen. All right. Hello, dear. She's upstairs. Go right on up. Just remember, she's grounded until the wedding. What's with the Give my regards to your parents. The background. Very annoying. Not the the kind of wing alien, but the perhaps it's my headphones, but it's a very noisy kind of sound. 
Okay, so this is obviously not her room. <laughs> She's pretty. It's good to that. Uh, bathtub. What? Cool. Let's steal some medicine. Okay, let's just take what the fuck or lube. Okay, just take everything. I suppose no, not that one. Yeast disinfectant. Not to be. <laughs> okay. Tam better. Uh, uh. <laughs> what? <clears throat> Do I really need all this crap? Three hundred yards of floss. Well, now I have an arsenal of fucking crap. Aspirin, cough, I can use it. Vitamins, tampons, and a jar of aura lube. Or aura lube? Or aura, uh, whatever. It's a picture of hanging a bit crap. Well, I can operate it. Oh! Isn't softcore porn all that you wanna? Yeah, I guess that's our our bride to be. She seems awfully uninterested for a man just entering her house. I am supposed to be here. Okay. Who are you? What are you doing in my room? Haven't you heard? We're getting married. So, you're the one. Steve, isn't it? You mean... You don't know me? I mean I don't know anyone! I don't remember anything! How many times do I have to say it? Just one, Stephanie, because... I can't remember a damn thing either. Really? Oh god, I thought it was just me. You're not alone. Can you tell me what's going on here? Those people downstairs have locked me in my room. Does she have socks or sandals? I'm grounded until the wedding. Hmm. Okay, I talk. They claim to be my parents. I can't dispute it because I can't remember for sure one way or the other, but it doesn't feel right. I know what you mean. Yeah, let's do you take have a... any idea where you do belong? No, but I'm fairly sure I don't belong in Harvest. So hard is yeah. this the town we're in? I can't remember anything. What? But I music. feel in my heart that the woman downstairs is not my mother. She's like this thing, like a parody, a bad joke with mother as the punchline. Does that make any sense? Yeah. I would. I'm glad I'm not the only one who sees it that way. I thought I was going crazy. Join the club. But we can't both be crazy, Stephanie. Either way, something really weird is going on here. I've got to escape, and so do you. Yep. Because in a way, whether you know it or not, I think we're both grounded. Not sure what that means, but... Escape? Harvest is a prison, Steve. Don't forget that. Of course I'm right. <laughs> Okay, so lodge then. Everything in Harvest seems to revolve around this damned lodge. This Order of the Harvest Moon. She knows an awful lot They're more than me. They're responsible for this insane bake sale that's coming, and for the Harvest Blood Drive, too. When people talk about the lodge, it's always in this hushed, reverent tone. Nope. Mom keeps okay. telling me that women can't join, but she keeps pressuring me to get you to join. Interesting. Maybe if I want answers, I should go right to the source and get a membership application. That's probably the worst thing you could do. So that's you think what I'm gonna do. Some kind of trap? I think all of Harvest is a trap. That's true. Maybe joining the lodge is the way out. Look, why not explore the town a little? 
I can't get out of here, but if I could, that's what I'd do. Maybe you can figure out what's happening here without going anywhere near the lodge. You're really afraid of the lodge, aren't you? I look at that building. All lit up at night, and I get scared. <laughs> Same. I mean, look at Same the damn video. thing. Seem like a harmless bunch of masons to you? Okay. Come back and visit me soon, okay? Sure thing. So now we've got a mystery on our hands. And um, oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't want to talk to Meat Boy over there. <laughs> so where's my dad? Let's go to the general store. Well, that's good. Oh, okay, crushed window it seems. Can I help you, dear? How are you? This is Phelps General Store, so who would that make me? Maybe you need to go back to Gein Memorial and have Miss Whaley teach you about logic. I'm fuzzy on a lot of things these days. My memory's gone. Shaw, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious, I need some help. Well, they say a sharp blow to the head <laughs> is a good thing for amnesia. In which case, I'd recommend Miss Whaley again. Wow. Then again, they say a good scare can jog the memory. In which case, I'd advise you to visit the sergeant at arms over at the lodge. That man gives me the willies. Speaking of willies, how's your father? Don't know. Haven't seen him. Care to buy anything today? Yeah, sure. Just point to whatever you want. I'm a little hard of hearing. Well, I only got... The core. Oh, an adult magazine. A girly magazine? Why, Steve, <laughs> I'm surprised at you. I'd expect that sort of thing from Deputy Loomis, but never from you. He's always coming in here oogling the girly magazines behind my counter. Darned if I'd sell him one, though. I know his wife, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> well, okay. will you sell me one? I certainly will, Steve. That kind of interest is healthy for a young fellow. <laughs> Stares him away from being a fireman. Okay. Okay. What? Dead ocean deal. Mmm. Nice. So as you can see, everything is like a... A... I don't know, kind of dark parody of... Stuff. I don't really know how to do it, how to explain it, but it's really this is the fucking <laughs> blind woman is trying to read her mail. Okay. Yes, I need some help, Mr. Postmaster Boyle. What can I do for you today? Mm, sorry, youngster, we're out of applications right now. Come on, you must have one around here somewhere. Well, I do have the master, but you can't write on that. And I only make copies once a month on the button, regular as clockwork. Cool. Afraid not, son. You can't get them anywhere but the post office. I'm sorry, well, you'll sucks. just have to come back in a month, same as anyone else. And even then, I can't guarantee you'll get an application. The line is always long, and there are never enough to go around. It's very important that I get in quickly. That's what they all say. <laughs> Postmaster Boyle, I'll just die if I don't get into the lodge. Can't make an exception, young man. It just wouldn't be right. Okay, bye, Postmaster. Next time master. you post, don't forget the zip code. I won't. I won't. Packing peanuts. Oh, yeah, okay, now I... Oh, pastorelli. Let's talk to this. Doesn't respond. Not on. Okay. Howdy, Steve. <laughs> yeah. What the I'll be it? back, Mister. Oh, look at that. It swells, oh. Steve. Don't you pull <laughs> my old face. leg now? Change your mind about that aluminum siding? What are you talking about? I really think you should talk your father into buying some. Aluminum something. siding. He can afford it. And I can't stress enough the value of some really fine aluminum siding. Keeps it warm in the summer. Cool in the winter, 
Uh, and he keeps out the sheep. Pastorelli ought to look into what? some, but I can't get him to understand a word I say. Warm in the summer, cool in the winter? Okay, I don't understand anything. Steve, aluminum siding can't get a fair shake no more. Started when those firemen came to harvest, filling people's heads with newfangled notions like color coordination and interior design. You can paint aluminum, you know, if you want to. But even so, I can't seem to move it anymore. Not even to a rube like Pastorelli. <laughs> okay. Thank God for the plumbing. Okay, let's skip these. Nice to see you again, Steve. Is there? Yeah, this is what I was talking about. An alien. What's up to this? Hello here, there, youngster. They say them aliens I was telling you about. Well, they came back last night. Cut another crop circle in my south field. How come I never see none of them saucers clam? Them aliens is wild, Pete. You don't cross the intergalactic void without learning a trick or two. <laughs> you know what Pastorelli did? Yesterday, he gets an alarm system to protect his pole. <laughs> Only he don't know how to rig it, so now it's all awry. <laughs> well then. Okay, let's, Anytime, let's skip see. this. I don't think there's anything of importance here. I think. Otherwise, we'll get back. Oh, oh so there's a, quite a big map actually. Holy fuck! Let's go to the missile base. Oh, who goes there? Oh, not uh, this guy. They tell me my name is Steve. All oh, right, the Section Twenty One. Keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. That <laughs> makes two of us. So you're the amnesiac, huh? Just another draft dodging ploy, the way I see it. <laughs> But at least you're not an alien. You see, there's ships every now and then. Sometimes swell bags one in the woods. Who are you? Okay. Colonel Buster Monroe, commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation. Slow Keeping moves. America safe from those who would dye our flag red, white, and pink. <laughs> These are nuclear okay. missiles? Goddamn right they are. Every one of them ready to rain death on the Ruskies. <laughs> All I gotta do is hit the button and blammo! The price of vodka goes through the roof. Along with the vodka. <laughs> well, I suppose you have, you know, safeguards against accidents? Safeguards? Don't be such a weak sister. There are no safeguards. This is the 50s. Fuck you. Yeah. Then you have sole control of the, uh missiles. That's right. Been in charge here since WW2, when I got my lower torso shot off in the war. Those panty wastes in Washington wanted to stick me behind a desk. To hell with that. They owed me. I left my legs in Dusseldorf. They owed me. Of course, they felt that after the trauma of having to crawl from Germany to England trailing my intestines behind me, <laughs> I was too emotionally unstable to continue in the military. I don't see how they made That's that why they gave connection. me this nice cushy job and put me in charge of the nuclear missiles. Yeah. Why are you asking about the button, son? I'm just a little nervous about it. I mean, suppose an accident happens. Don't get your panties in a bunch, mister. The button is perfectly safe. I keep it oh. on my person all the time. Yeah, that's safe. No commie bastard is getting his mitts on this button. No siree, Bob. No one initiates a nuclear holocaust in Harvest except me. Okay, what? Now, doesn't that make you feel better? Uh, yeah. Okay, so you, you shouldn't really talk Remember, to him. Remember, duck and cover. Hey, as as you probably noticed, he's a bit emotionally unstable, so he can shoot you if you talk too much to him. And I don't feel like dying. Uh, meat plan. I guess this is my dad's workplace, right? <laughs> Thought I could look at the cat. Oh, but I can examine the tracks. Or not. Okay. Ah. Well done. 
No, this is normal. Totally normal. Steve, how's your father? Is he better? Uh, about the same, I guess. So He's been away from work sick. for weeks. And when I call your house, your mother won't let me talk to him. I haven't seen him either. This is a fine kettle of fish, I must say. Though I am glad to see you taking an interest in the business in your dad's absence. Who are you? Aw, oh, Steve, I didn't want to believe that amnesia hokum. Now you're saying you don't remember your pal Pat <laughs> O'Reilly? Yeah, my best friend. God damn. You may come to realize that this business is not for everybody. Just ask your poor, ill dad. It takes dedication and a strong stomach. Uh, yeah, I can see that. A lot of times, when I'm finished scrubbing up and digging the bits of intestine out from my fingernails, I must confess I don't have much appetite for red meat. <laughs> but red meat is one of the principal food groups, and you've got to have it. So when you can do this all day and help yourself to a juicy red steak afterwards, then by golly, you can call yourself a butcher. <laughs> of course, amnesia would certainly help that, wouldn't it? Yeah, I guess he doesn't see meat. Come to think of it, I don't see any cattle around here. Where do you keep the animals? <laughs> Does it matter? The end product is all the customer cares about, Steve. And we only carry the finest meat, only the juiciest cuts. Well, once okay. you take over the business, you'll realize the importance of maintaining quality while cutting costs. We know what we're doing here, Steve. If we didn't, would the lodge use us to cater their affairs? Your father's very particular about the profits, Steve. No freebies for anyone. But seeing how you're his son, if you'll bring written permission from your father, I'll give you the meat. Cool. Don't be such a stranger, Steve. And my best to your dad. Okay. So I just need a written permission, apparently. This is a nice town. Oh, we can double click to... Let's just check one more place before... Let's check the game memorial school. Oh no, you're looking at me, don't. Oh, I can operate the fire alarm. I suppose I won't do that. Steve, good of you to drop by, <clears throat> big guy. Haven't seen you since graduation. A lot of changes, I hear. You could say that. <laughs> good, good. That's a nice part of my job. Turning fine young men and women out into the world, and then watching them prosper. Of course, I was able to reach more people at the old Sentinel, God bless her. But then again, I never got to see the results of my work up close before. Mm -hmm. Who are you? You know very well I'm Mr. Harold, the principal of Gain Memorial. Oh, it didn't Steve, take I've that heard too about well. this amnesia nonsense. I had hoped you'd be in the lodge by now, fine young fellow like yourself. But now, I think maybe you need a little more quality time. Uh, what? What do you mean, quality time? Some, like Miss Whaley, favor stern discipline, corporal punishment, as a means of socialization. Myself, I temper discipline with love. Quality oh. time can be such a warm, okay. sharing experience. After just a few sessions, you'd stop this amnesia nonsense and become a productive member of society and a fit candidate for the lodge. I don't think I want to talk to this guy anymore. Drop in again soon. Adult education is a wonderful thing, as is adult quality time. Well, I don't want to talk to you again. Bye-bye. Cool class. Well, they seem to talk. It can't be some... My goodness, class, this is Steven. He used to be a student here at Gein Memorial. Say hello, class. They're reticent. The educator's gravest problem today is the apathy of the students. <laughs> What's okay. wrong with her? It. I can tell you in one word, Steven. Discipline. Thank goodness you weren't a sulky bear. You were always a smiley bear. Then, you remember me? 
Not as such. So many pupils, Stephen. They come and they go. But I can always spot those who were nice boys. You can tell from the forehead. What? The lobes. Right, class? Okay. I'm glad you stopped by, Stephen. Would you care to say a few words to the class about civic responsibility? Not really. I was just passing oh, through. There. Oh, but you must, Stephen. A positive role model might be just the thing to inspire these little monsters. <laughs> Stephen, have you any oh, questions? Oh, that's a good teacher, all right. Or shall I continue with class? Ask a Let's see, corporal punishment. We don't practice corporal punishment here. I've never believed in that old adage, spare the rod and spoil the child. A rod is too thin. But a baseball bat? That bridges the generation gap quite nicely. All right. Oh, dear. Colonel Monroe is conducting another air raid drill. Everyone into the hallway, quick! <laughs> As you can see, things turn a little bit weird. If an A-bomb hits, what good is it going to do to duck and cover? That's a nice teacher. My stars, that was exciting. I gotta Stop get the fuck time, away from Steven. here, sir. Miss, sorry, whatever. Hmm. Okay, there's something locked there. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna end this episode here. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, because this is a. Uh, I mean, right now it hasn't that much hasn't happened yet, but. Believe me, things will happen. <laughs> uh, some crazy shit, really. Well, anyways, until then, have a great time, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.